Okay, I, I apologize for my uh, hiatus. Um, it's because uh, I have finals coming up, so uh, it's been sucking up all my time. Um, and no matter, I mean, I could study, like, I do study for like, I studied three hours each night this uh, last week. And I still know I'm going to do bad on it. Like, I studied so hard, I think I know it, but I always end up not doing great on it. Well, that's not true. Last semester I didn't go, but every other semester before that. Whatever. Um, so Saturday night I saw the uh, Star Trek movie. Um, let me give uh, my history on Star Trek. Um, I like it. I think it's a really well-made show. I haven't seen... I refuse to watch Generations or any of that new crap. Um, I only... I've seen a lot of the animated series. Like, I just... Sorry. I'm like, I'm still like, well, I'll tell you. Um, I was going to do this review yesterday, but I was sick. And I'm staying home today because I still am sick. So if I like sneeze like 50 times during this review, well, that's why. Um, so uh, I think it's a good show. Um, um, how do I say this? Um, uh, sorry, I lost the term. If you have an iPhone, um, I've been doing this a lot lately. Uh, get the TV.com app, and uh, they have full episodes of Star Trek on that um, app. It is a good show. I, I really enjoy it. I think it's really ahead of its time. Um, it's really, it's weird how it would be so entertaining with so little like uh, special effects and stuff. Um, everyone makes picks on Star Trek for being lame, but um, I'm going to have to say that part of the charm of the show is the lameness of it, like those uh, cheesy shirts they wear. Uh, I don't know, it just, it's, it's like, I don't know, it just, is, it's just part of the charm, in my opinion. Um, <coughs> so I, I, I do like it, I do enjoy the original show. Now trailers, I saw some trailers for this movie, it was kind of hopeful, until I saw the newest TV spot that said, this is your father's Star Trek, and they go to show, like, big explosions and special effects, I'm like, oh, crap. I was seeing Star Wars prequels, um. But so, much, but I still see it because I heard it, it got good reviews, and I loved it. I thought it was absolutely. I thought words cannot describe how much I enjoyed this movie. I really, I, I'd be much more enthusiastic, but I'm like sick, so I like feel like um I, I have like no energy whatsoever right now. But I, I'm I'm telling you right now, like if I had more energy, I'd, I'd be like everywhere. But I loved this movie. This movie was awesome. Um, it, it had the spirit. It's exactly what it should have been, like. It, it, it should have improved the special effects, like, since we're in 2009 now, and but kept the spirit and the smartness of the show. Um, uh, it did, like, it wasn't too special effects, like, it wasn't just like, bam, bam, like Transformers, you know. I can't even tell about Transformers, because Transformers is boring. But, um, like, the Star Wars prequels, which is just like, hey, you know, let's make some crap or some great special effects. Uh, this is seriously, like, driven thing um, the acting was actually was absolutely fantastic um like spot like they were they managed to be just like the characters like a younger version of the characters on the show without doing an uh, impression of them like that's what i was afraid they were going to do kirk was like hi I'm captain kirk you know like, like all really over the top and spock is going to be doing Lynn or nemo no they do their they make it their own but they also seem like them like you're not copying them but you can yeah, I believe it was them, younger. Um, like, I love, like, uh, Kirk. Like, when I saw him, it's like this rubble. I'm like, okay, how is he going to be, like, uh, how is he going to turn to William Shatner, you know? Uh, but he does. By the end of the movie, like, something about how he walks and, like, how he presents himself is, like, just like William Shatner. I can't even explain it. Like, I believed it was him. Same thing with Spock, uh, the young Spock, who was probably the, did, the, did the best job. Um... Everyone was just great. Even, like, McCoy. Um, definitely. Even if you don't like Star Trek, check this thing out. It's still awesome. Uh, it didn't get too obsessed with special effects. Like, they were awesome special effects, but it wasn't just about the special effects. Like, it's, it was still Star Trek. Um, <coughs> uh, it was just fantastic. I, I had so much... I had a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting to like it that much. Like, I was kind of like, oh, I bet it'll be okay, but... Like, because I was worried about that tagline. Like, it's not your father's Star Trek. Like, oh. But this is 
great. Everyone is just, this movie turned out phenomenal. Like, J.J. Abrams, who directed this, should be so proud of himself right now. Like, I know Cloverfield got really hyped and stuff, but this is, this is his, uh, this is what he should really be proud of. Honestly, this was awesome. Like, even if you don't like Star Trek, you're still going to really like this. This movie's a lot of fun. Go, definitely go see this. Like, don't miss this movie. Um, it made up, I know it made a shitload of money, um, opening weekend, but. I can't even describe why I liked it so much. You have to just go see it for yourself. Like, it feels like the show, but if you don't like the show, you'll still really, really, really enjoy this movie. Um, <coughs> just a lot of fun. Uh, acting is... I don't think it'd be as good without the uh, the great acting. I think the acting was the best part about the movie. Like I said, they're, they're just like the characters without doing impressions of them. Uh, you know, it's so easy to do impressions of uh, Leonard Nimoy, or especially William Shatner. All right, uh, go see Star Trek. Uh, whenever you get the, whenever you get the chance, definitely go see Star Trek.